Hey everyone, Cool is Dad here. I'm in America and I just want to do a quick unboxing of a newbie soother teething ring. Uh, this is a product we just picked up at Toys R Us and uh, I thought I would unbox it because my kid is going through teething and I wanted to share it with you. So this is basically a plastic ring with some texture on it and as you can see there's some bubbles inside of here and normally I guess there's some with water but this one has some kind of coolant, uh, it's a gel that, what do they call it, pure ice gel that provides gentle cooling. So the idea is that you put this in the fridge and uh, cool it off and it helps sort of numb your kid's gums. Meanwhile, the texture and stuff helps get his teeth to pop out. Stimulates, I believe it says here, stimulates the gums. Textured surface stimulates the gums. So, uh, I don't remember exactly how much this costs, so I'm going to look it up online and put it right here so you guys can see. Uh, but it looks interesting, and uh, I don't think I've seen this in Japan or the US. A company that makes Newbie is called Love and Care, and it's based in Louisiana. So it says designed by Love and Care in the United States, but made in China. So I'd rather it was made in the USA, but claims it's the number one brand in the US, I guess. Uh, and it's BPA free. A uh, couple of warning things. It's supposed to go in the fridge, not the freezer. Um, so I, especially if you put in the freezer, I think it probably wouldn't damage the thing. But uh, if you put it in the freezer and then the kid put it in his mouth, it's the same thing as like uh, putting a big piece of ice on his gum. So potentially some frostbite or cold damage could happen. So it's not supposed to be in the freezer. The other big thing is that it's not dishwasher safe. Um, I think this liquid also, if you put it in, the, in boiling water, you put it in the uh, microwave, or you put it even in the top shelf of the dishwasher, whatever, uh, potentially it could overheat and melt, something like that. So um, not super robust, I guess, so you have to treat it right, hand wash it, but uh, it looks interesting. Let's just pop it open. Here we go. It's kind of squishy, uh, and then I don't know if you can see, but uh, basically there's alternating uh, patterns on here as far as the uh, bumps go. So these have kind of these flower ones, and these are just a bunch of separate raised dots. Looks like a hamburger bun, um, but the idea being that your kid can just chew on it. I think me with my full set of teeth and my adult size jaw could probably pop it open if I tried really hard, but um, hopefully not. Uh, Right now, our kid just has two teeth here on the bottom, so it's actually pretty sharp. And of course, it bothers my wife when he uh, is breastfeeding. Um, so potentially, he has a little puncture thing. So definitely, uh, got to be careful. Make sure this thing doesn't leak. But uh, I'm sure they've tested it pretty well. So anyway, looks pretty cool. Um, since I don't remember how much it cost, you're gonna have to see the uh, graphic. Uh, and that will decide whether it's worth it. Maybe I'll do a follow-up. Um, if, if anything bad happens, I'll definitely do a follow-up. But uh, if the kid really likes it or it helps on his teeth, um, I'll let you know in a follow-up video. Okay, hopefully this was not too boring. And I've got lots of great videos coming up on my U.S. adventure here. I've got some videos left over from Japan you should be seeing soon too. So catch you next time here on The Clueless Dad. Give me a thumbs up. See you next time. Um, 